Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to chart your BBT temperatures each day using the Fertility Friend app. My name's Karina, and in this video, we're going to talk about reasons why you might be needing to take your temperature each day, particularly if you're working on a fertility journey or if you are working with a practitioner that is helping you with a gynecological journey, and then also what you're going to need in order to do that some of the caveats on how to do it correctly and some troubleshooting if you're getting some interesting things on your chart. So uh, some of the reasons that people would be taking their temperature each day is pr primarily they're on a fertility journey and they're wanting the best information possible to know when they're ovulating and what's happening in their menstrual cycle so that they can be timing correctly when they're planning to start their family. And also when you're working with a practitioner who wants to know what's going on in your body through the month so that they can use that as a diagnostic tool, super important. If you are also curious about your menstrual health, it would be a great idea to be working with a practitioner and charting your temperature each day for the same reason. You might not necessarily be planning to have a family, Maybe that's something that you want to do down the track, but it might be really, really insightful if you've been working with a gynecological issue that wants some rebalancing and some correcting. So it's a fantastic tool. And if you are working with someone for your women's health, your practitioner will likely be stoked that you are on board with charting your BBT, but it can be a little bit confusing. So hopefully in this video, we can clear up how you can do it correctly and save a lot of time so that you can get on with your healing journey. You're going to need two things. Firstly, you're going to need a digital thermometer. Now, I don't, well, I don't know what Surgipack is the brand of this thermometer. <laughs> By the way, this video is not necessarily about endorsing particular products. It's just the one I've got. And I guess I would just say the digital thermometer that you choose to use should not be the cheapest one that you can get because it could be faulty and also doesn't necessarily need to be the most expensive one either because there are a lot on the market. What you will need in your thermometer, however, is the capacity to take a dec decimal point reading. So, for example, it needs to be able to say 35.1 or 38.1 two or something like that. You need that decimal point. And in this video, the other thing that you're going to need is the Fertility Friend app. And as I said before, not necessarily, uh, in, they're not paying me to say that. It's just, this is the app that I know leading professionals in the fertility field prefer. And it's the one that I've been trained to use with my clients. So it's the one we're going to talk about. So straight off the bat, Thermometer Fertility Friend app. So if you've downloaded that app, let's talk through how you're going to use that app to chart your temperatures correctly. So if I bring up what you're going to see uh, when you open that app, and we'll talk it through together. Just before we do this, there's some pretty important things to note about taking your temperature and how to get the most true reading. So the ideal time to take your temperature is as soon as you wake up in the morning. Hopefully you've had at least four hours of unbroken sleep. <laughs> Park that, we can come back and talk about that in a moment. As soon as you wake up in the morning, before you get out of bed, before you go to the toilet, before you're moving around, the first thing that you're going to want to do is reach for your thermometer. thermometer. Hopefully I have this like this because my phone is up on the top of my bed <laughs> overnight and you've likely got your thermometer on your phone, reach for it. Maybe you're turning off your alarm. Maybe you've just woken up naturally. Thermometer in your, in your mouth. Take the temperature, grab your phone. We'll open the app that we'll talk about in a moment and you'll plot that temperature. And then it's done for the day. You don't have to worry about a thing. So that's it. As soon as you wake up, take your temperature. Ideally, you've had four hours of unbroken sleep. And if, for example, you wake up in the middle of the night and you've had four hours of unbroken sleep, it could be a good time for you to take that temperature then, especially if you are restless from that time up until the morning. Um, let's continue. So if you've downloaded the Fertility Friend app, this is what you're going to see. This is, the, this is the icon that you're looking for in the app store. And then when you open it up, the first thing that you're going to see is a calendar, which is great. 
what you're going to want to do is click on the date that it is for you. So you wake up, perhaps the date is the 13th of July. And then when you click on that day, you will then see another screen, which is where you'll plot the temperature. So underneath the temperature there, it'll be waiting for you to type it in from the reading that you get from your thermometer. It's already going to have the time recorded there. Um, in a perfect world, you'd be taking it every time, you'd be taking it the same time every morning, but that's not necessarily your world. So maybe you do wake up at 5.30 a.m. every day. Maybe you wake up at six. Maybe it fluctuates a little bit between certain hours. That's okay. Um, more important is that you just take it as soon as you wake up. Underneath that, you've also got cervical fluid. And that is talking about the, the cervical mucus. So if you're on a fertility journey, you've probably done lots of research into this already. This is something that you can click and note if that's something that you're also noticing during that particular time in your cycle. It's not absolutely essential, but it is a, it's a parameter there that you can click on if you want to. And then once you've done that, you need to press save up here. Very important that you press save because then the app is going to be holding that data and it will start to create a graph for you. The next, um, the ne if you scroll down, the next things that you can mark are if your period arrives. So if you've been charting your temperature each day and then the next day your period arrives, when you click on this section here, and for example, you might click light or medium or heavy, the chart is automatically going to start a new chart and that will automatically become day one of the new chart. And that will happen. You won't have to worry about that. That will just automatically happen. And then beneath, you've also got where you can mark if you have been having sex. So if you're trying to work on getting your timing right on your fertility journey, it's great to see when you're doing that because your practitioner might have some advice for you. It's also just great to keep that there as a, as a marker to know what was going on in your month. Just below that, there's a great little square here that I love, which is called the daily notes. So sometimes people might feel that they will avoid taking their temperature if they've had an off day or if they forgot and it was the afternoon by the time they remembered. If you've got your thermometer on your phone, you shouldn't forget though. Maybe you had a late night, maybe you went to a party, maybe you had a lot of stress going on that day. This is a great place where you could note that if you're somebody who likes details. I'm somebody who likes details. Uh, so you can just type that in and that will also show up on the graph with a little, um, a little hashtag, which means there's a note for that day. And then with all of that happening, this is what the chart will start to look like. And obviously this is quite early in the cycle. It's only up to day seven. You can see that the first three days there were the days of the bleed with the L denoting light days. You can see on day three as well that a note was made because there's a little hashtag here. Um, so it's already just plotting the temperatures that you put in. A little triangle means that the temperature was taken at a slightly different time than the time that it's usually taken. So that's what that means. But do take the temperature every day because it's very important. <clears throat> this is something that your practitioner is going to want to have a look at, particularly as you're getting close to the middle of the cycle, or they might want to have a look at the, the second half of the cycle, or they might just want to see where are the temperatures sitting in the first part, where are the temperatures sitting in the second part. All you've got to do is make sure that you're plotting the data because those conversations um, you can have with your practitioner or they might ask you to send a screenshot of where you're at or something like that. So hopefully that's nice and simple so far and it makes sense as to how to do this. So just remember, as soon as you wake up is when to take the temperature. Ideally, you've had four hours of unbroken sleep and you need to get yourself a thermometer. Other than that, I think this is a pretty good summary of what you need to do. Questions that you have can be spoken to um, your practitioner about and you should be able to work those things out together. I hope that this was a nice clarifying tutorial for you. Thank you for watching.